Today we're going to be doing the giant mole boss. There's a few different methods here. The most efficient one is probably to use the twisted bow on task if you're lucky enough to get one uh, with an imbued slayer helmet. Otherwise, if you're off task, then using Elite Void uh, with a melee switch so that you can use a Dragon Warhammer spec would also be very quick. Also, you can put a cannon down there. I'm not going to uh, right now because it's fast enough as is. But you, a few other things, you also, if you're using Derox, which if you're 99% of the population, that's going to be the most affordable and most efficient method. If you are using Derox, just use your highest uh, melee attack, melee strength bonus that you have, but you're going to need something to lower your health, like a locator orb from Clue Scrolls or the Dwarven Rock Cake, which is from the uh, Recipe for Disaster subquest, the Freeing the Mountain Dwarf subquest. So we're going to be using that, and then also if you're Darocking, you know, bring Super Combat Potions, not Divine Super Combat Potions, because those lower your health, and we're going to be sitting at one health the whole time, so it's really annoying to have to get back up to above 10. Then other than that, you're going to have Stamina Pots and Prayer Potions. Uh, D-Claws would be a good spec weapon to bring if you've got it, otherwise Crystal Halberd works well. Uh, otherwise, you just don't even need to have one. So we are going to take what we've got here, and we're going to be going up to the top uh, mole hill so you need to make sure to bring a spade too to get down into the uh, mole hill or the mole, giant mole's layer. If you uh, have done the Falador hard diary which I'd recommend uh, you'll have the shield which will point on the minimap and on the UI right to the boss and you will also have uh, noted drops from the giant mole. So if you have done uh, making friends with my arm you can light this fire here and then you don't need a light source anymore so I've done that which is why I don't have my light source and you can see on the UI here that's my shield working it's pointing me in that direction so we're gonna go find him and we are going to get down to as low health as possible uh, there's somebody here I should have checked the I should have checked the, the hill before jumping down sorry about that all right, so we're going to lower our health, and our quick prayer is going to be protect melee and piety, and also preserve since we're using a regular super combats. All right, so we'll get down to one health here, and then you can turn on. Uh, rapid heal to restart your hit point regen there just to uh, prevent it from going up to two health so all we're gonna do basically is melee this guy until he disappears and once he disappears then the UI is gonna point us right to him hopefully we'll see some big Derek hits a nice 96 that's pretty good and there he goes. So nice and easy. And we can pick up uh, the mole skin and mole claw. Or if you are just going after the pet, which would be kind of what I'm doing, I'll just leave it on the ground. But that's basically it. You just uh, keep your stamina potted here, keep your health at one by flicking that rapid heal to reset the timer. And that's basically it. It's a pretty chill boss and a nice cute little pet. So it probably is worthwhile if you're going to be down here for a while to uh, you know just set up a cannon too because that'll just keep things going and get you some range experience if you're training that. Otherwise, pretty simple, straightforward guide there. Uh, it's another one in the books. So I'll see you next time.